Hey y'all, welcome to day number six of the AI Agent Challenge. My name is Dylan. I help entrepreneurs win the game of business by building and integrating AI agents and automated workflows inside of their business. Today, what we're gonna be looking at is how to create a AI news summary. I don't know about you, but I sign up for way too many emails for AI news, and there's so many that come into my news feed and type of my emails, it just becomes overwhelming. So what we created here was something just for myself that I think would be really useful for anybody else who's got a whole bunch of AI news emails coming in where you just don't want all the junk and you just want the facts about what the news is for the day. So by the end of this, you're gonna learn how to not only create a summary of the news for the day, be able to turn that into an audio file, put that into a drive, and then send you the link. So all you need to do is get a summary of the information of the news for the day, and you can listen to it on the go, on the road, wherever you're at, in your car, so that you can enjoy the news without of all the other junk and fluff and all the distractions of going into your email inbox. So with that being said, we're gonna hop into it. Let's get started, shall we? We're gonna get started by going back into make.com right now, and I've opened up the folder, the 30-day AI agent challenge, and here's the last five of the scenarios we built, and we're gonna make the next one by clicking the create a new scenario button here. We're gonna title it day six, AI news email to audio MP4. I'm gonna hit save here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our emails and we are gonna be watching for new emails coming in. Sign into my email here and we're gonna go into the inbox and we're just gonna grab this news feed here. We can see here that there's this news feed from the AI break. We're gonna copy this link, go back into the scenario here and we're gonna look for this sender's email. We're gonna to wanna to also have look for all emails, but we could put unread emails later on whenever new emails come in. And we're gonna click this first one right here. We're gonna run once. And we're gonna get this output. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down into here and we're gonna select all of this information because there is a lot of information in here and we don't want all of this. All we want is just the straight news, not of the other call the actions and everything else inside of here. So we're gonna select all of this and we are going to create the next email module. It's gonna be a chat GPT completion. And we're gonna select the model, the latest one, GPT-4 with a little O here. And we're gonna add in a role system. We're gonna tell it you are a helpful email reviewer max tokens, let's give it a thousand, click okay. And what we're gonna do here before we go into this is we're gonna go into chat GPT inside of here because we wanna show them some examples. So I've pasted in this example here and it says, I want you to take the email provided here from the email newsletter that we just got and I want you to, about the AI news and I want to remove any links or anything not related to useful news and information to provide a simple and plain news only format. So paste this in here. And then it outputted this right here. So we're gonna feed this as the few shot programming prompt. And we're gonna go here first and we're gonna grab the top of this and we're gonna drag this all the way down to here. We're gonna open up the scenario, go inside of here, and then we're gonna add in a new message from the user. We're gonna paste in the contacts, hit okay, and then we're gonna go back into the chat GPT on this side, and we are gonna grab the plain text version without all the fluff. Then we're gonna go down here, add the assistant saying how we want to respond. So now that it can see that information, add just a little bit of a space there at the top, go to the bottom, click okay, hit save. Oh, actually one more thing we need to do real quick is we need to add one more message here with the user. 
and then we're going to pl provide the text that is coming in from the email. Email text content. Click OK. What we're going to do, we're going to right click here, choose where to start, select the first email, and let's go ahead and grab this second one right here. Click OK, and we're going to click Run Once. So now it's sending this over to OpenAI. It's going to take it, process it, rip out all of the junk inside of that email, and then just provide a clean, simple summary information of the AI news for the day. Let's take a look at that. Choices, one, messages. We're going to open this up. Context. Okay. There we go. All right. The next step here is we're going to open up and create another module and we're going to go down and we're going to turn this from text into audio and it says generate an audio. And the input is going to be from the previous chat completion, hit the context inside of here. Model wise, we can pick the first TTS text to speech here. Click OK, do a little auto alignment, hit save, and then we're going to run this again. So now it's taking the email, converting that over into a clean summary, and now knocking that over into ChatGPT to turn that into an audio file. There we go. Output bundle. This is the binary format of the audio file. Now that we have that audio file, we need to put it into a Google Drive so that we can have access to that. Double click this. We're going to open up the... Google Drive module, and we're going to go down to upload a file. I'm going to sign in, select from a list here, and I've already created a folder here called the AI News Audio. So it's going to get just dumped inside of this folder right here, and this is just grabbing the file that is coming through from ChatGPT's Whisper. Click OK. I'm going to upload that file, and we're going to right click. Choose where to start. Select the first email. We'll go down to here. Click this. Click run. And you can see that as this is getting processed, we have our AI news section right here, this folder that's inside of Google's Drive. Look at the scenario. You can see this is going to get processed. Turned it, it's turning it into an audio file right now. And then it's going to just dump it over into the Google Drive. Okay, let's check the Google Drive. All right, there is the output. It's got a little bit of a funky name. We'll fix that. And let's go back into the make scenario. So the way that we can fix that is by going in here, we hit map. And what we want to do is we want to name it. What is the date today and what's the news coming in right now? So we're going to go inside here and we're going to use a formula function called format date right there. And inside this first section right inside of here, we want to add in the date. So we're going to type in the date here. We can see that this is the date format right there. And we're going to go ahead, click right inside of here, click date. And then you can see right here, looking at these different formats, that this is going to be the way the date looks, but we're going to format it to look more like this one right here. So this is the original date. We can see this right here. And then we can look over here, and we're going to change it into this, month, month, slash, day, day, slash, year, year, year. So we know that's the format that we want. So we're going to put that here. We're going to do month, month, day, day, slash, year, 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 year. Okay. And then... <laughs> my AI is talking to me right now. So that's the format that we want. And then we can call this underscore the AI breaker news. Click OK. Now that we have that there, we're going to hit save. And we're going to open up and we're going to create another module called a sleep module. And this is just going to give it just a couple of seconds just in case to make sure that that file has been passed across. Otherwise, it might be happening too quick with the modules, and it may not recognize it. Do a little auto align. And now that we have it uploaded, there's a unique thing with Google Drive where 
you, in order to grab a shared link, you can't just grab it directly. You have to have another module for that, which is Google Drive. And we're going to go down to share link. File ID. We're going to pick the file ID here at the top. And we can make this for really anyone, just in case you have any issues where sometimes you only have private links and stuff like that. We're going to switch it for anybody, so it's a link that anybody can use. Click OK. Have it right there. Hit Save. And we are going to go over here. And let's just go ahead and delete this one out. Just No, that's fine. We'll delete it anyways. Move the trash. Go in here. Click Way to Start. Select the first email you want to start with. Click this Open AI News. Run the module. And again, it's going across ChatGPT, processing the information, turning that into a summary, kicking it out to the Whisper model, which is turning that from a text into an audio file. Going to then upload to the Google Drive, wait five seconds, and then create a shared link for us. Now, you could also do this if you wanted to. Let's say you had five news articles about AI news from five different email lists. What you could do is you could drop that into a Google Word document and you could append it. You could add that text on top of it all together so then it takes all of the different news and then puts it into one long format. Or even better, you could kick that out to ChatGPT and summarize it so that there's not crossover. Let's go here. Let's take a look at this link. All right, there is the shared link. Great, and the web content link, so we'll grab this one. And let's open it up and give that a listen. All right. Hello, esteemed readers of the AI break. We are thrilled to bring you the... All right, there we go. We got a little audio file coming in for us. Let's just go ahead and send that back to ourselves through here. Send an email, open this up. We're gonna add a recipient. Send it to my email here, donjwalkins.com. Great, go your AI breaker audio news report is ready. Turn this into plain text because we don't need HTML right now. Hi, Dylan. Your AI breaker audio news report is ready. And we're going to go down here, and there is the shared link right there. Click, click share link. Click OK. And we are going to save this one last time and give this a run. I'm going to go inside of this folder real quick. You can see that it's been properly formatted, but we're going to delete this one so that we can have this new one come in right now. It's being processed. Going to wait five seconds. And there we go. Let's check our email. There's our AI news. There's the Google Drive folder. Let's open it up. Hello, AI lovers. We're thrilled to have you join us for a deep dive into today's most compelling AI advancements. A All right, there we go. Last thing we're going to do here is we can go inside of here, go into choose where to start, and we can say all emails from now on. So any emails come in like that will then be grabbed over. We'll go ahead and turn this on. We can check this regularly once every day. Click OK, hit save, and there we go. So that's how you can take any news coming in from any of the email lists that you have, break that down, and then turn that into an audio file that you can listen to on the go, on your car ride, or whatever you've got going on. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this brief AI agent tutorial for you. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and do that all that fun YouTube stuff. Thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye now.